So in this problem, we have a circular loop carrying a current that causes a magnetic field, and we have a long straight wire carrying current that causes a magnetic field. Let's just review what the magnetic fields are for those two situations. So when you have a long straight wire carrying current I, you put your thumb in the direction of the current, your fingers curl in the direction of the magnetic field. So the magnetic field lines are circles around that wire. The perpendicular distance from the wire to the point of interest, which here I'll call R, is what's in the formula for the straight wire. So B, I'll call it B wire, is equal to mu naught I over 2 pi R. Now, if we have the circle, the current, so if we have a circular current carrying a current I, now you put your fingers in the direction of the current, and your thumb is the direction of the magnetic field, B. Now, once again, this depends on the perpendicular distance from the center of the loop out to the edge of the loop. So we'll call that radius R. So that's actually the radius of the loop. So I'll call this B loop. And that's equal to mu naught I over 2R. So there's no pi in that formula. Now, the problem that we have here is that we have both a circular loop and a straight wire. So my circular loop of wire, I'm going to put in the plane of the page. And it says the current goes clockwise. That would produce a magnetic field into the page at the center of the loop. Now, in order to cancel that magnetic field, I need a straight wire, which I'll place here, also carrying current I. And we can see that that produces a magnetic field out of the page. And it's when those two cancel that I have the magnetic field zero at the center. So in order not to get confused with these little r's, I'm going to call the radius of the loop capital R, and the distance from the center out to this wire small r. So it must be that the magnetic field of the wire magnitude exactly equals the magnetic field in the loop magnitude, because they point in opposite directions, they'll then cancel. So we have that mu naught i over 2 pi r must equal mu naught i over 2 r, the loop. And this tells us that small r must be exactly radius of the loop over pi, which is less than big r. That's how I know it intersects the loop.